right, this is Burning Questions. My name is Elle Doninger, and this is Miss Liberant. Okay, <laughs> got it. <laughs> All right, and so today we're going to talk about mental health. Awesome, let's do it. All right, perfect. So I think we... Dive in? Yeah. All right. We won. I'm doing mild first, because I'm kind of a win. All right. <laughs> Mine's good. Buffalo wing sauce. Yeah, no, that wasn't bad. Yeah. yeah. All right, so the first question is, what is mental health? Uh, I think it's, uh, in general, the easiest way to say is that it's a sense of well-being. So that incorporates everything, not just like uh, mental, but emotional, and it can have physical effects on you as well. Mm -hmm. So it, it's kind of a, a sense of well-being in general, I think. Yeah. We, should we take another one? Let's do it. I'm going to... Getting scared the more no, <laughs> the closer we get down the line. All right. You're very brave. I, I cannot do that. Mm. Competitive. Blindly competitive. Also, yeah. not too bad still. Yeah, no, the mild keeps getting spicier and spicier. <laughs> it's, it's building. <laughs> not so mild anymore. Yeah, no, not really. All right, our next question is, why do you think there is stigma about mental health? Um... I think like anything that has stigma, it's, it's got a base in history. So uh, in America, at least, we have a very long tradition of like this idea of grit. You pull yourself up from your bootstraps, um, work through the pain. There's a lot of that in all types of culture, sports, yeah. education, like that. And so talking about difficulty historically has not been done. Also, most Western cultures, privacy has been a huge thing. Like you keep your dirty laundry to yourself, and yeah. that includes mental health. And lastly, I also think that, like, unless someone tells you something is unusual, you might not even realize it's not normal. Right. And so you go through all these struggles, you think this is normal, that everybody's going through this, and you discount your own experiences because you, you don't think anyone else is, has it easier or has anything different. Yeah. yeah. So a couple of those things together, I think, is kind of what goes into it. I don't want to try something new, but... That one's not bad. I don't think I want to. I think you will be okay. I'm actually getting into the scary end now. That one's not too bad. It's a god kick. <laughs> oh, it's fine. <laughs> uh, it's not bad. <laughs> if I keep talking, it'll get worse. Well, I guess I will ask the other question then. <laughs> All right, what's an important idea slash point about mental health and being mentally healthy that you would want to share? I think an important thing is too often we think of mental health as one thing. It's self-care. It's like taking baths and, you know, indulging. Or it's taking medication. Or it's, you know, reading books and having free time. Mental health is like a, an ongoing process. Right. It's a series of like habits and daily behaviors that contribute to your overall well-being and overall mental health. So it's not just one day a week where you treat yourself. It's right. every day setting boundaries, um, taking care of yourself emotionally and mentally and physically as well. All that stuff goes together and it's every day. It's not just once a month or once a week. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> We're good, we're good, we're solid. <laughs> we can do this. All right, is this the last one? Yeah. I'll be cautious on this one this time. You're very strong. Still going with the mile. <laughs> that one's not so bad. She says now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, power through. All right, how do you help support your students' mental health in your classroom? Um. Again, it's something we do every day. Um, we talk, we joke around, we keep it light, but it's also, um, you know, every day we, we do Rosebud Thorn, which in my classroom is something good that happened to you this week, something that bums you out this week, something you're looking forward to. Um, and the reason we do that is because I want people to feel comfortable talking about their feelings and things that happen to them, whether positive or negative to build a community where my students feel comfortable talking to each other and in front of you and to me and everyone else and being open about it so that it's you know no one suffers in silence yeah so just giving little opportunities to like express themselves tell someone talk to people about stuff uh, creates a little bit more of a bridge for them to 
feel comfortable in the future expanding on that and really delving yeah, in. Yeah, I like that idea. That's really cool. Yeah. All right. One more. Sure. I've lost all feeling, okay. so we're good. One more. Um, I'm go over this one again. It wasn't too bad. Chickening out at the last minute. It's okay, I've been chickening out the whole time. So. <laughs> Okay, not bad. All right, we made it. Last question. Any right. final thoughts you'd like to share about mental health? Again, mental health is something you have to take care of every day. Um, not just for yourself, but for others as well. It's okay not to be okay. It's okay yeah. to go through struggles. It's okay to talk about those struggles with other people. You are not, no one is a silo. No one exists completely on an island. People are there, people care for you, people want to help you, and they want you to do well. So if you make cross that little bridge, make that comment, ask the question, ask for help, people are there to support you. And so taking your care of yourself every day is great, but don't be scared to reach out to other people yeah. um, and to find those support systems that you really need. Yeah. All right. I think that's it. Hmm. All right, thank you. Thanks for coming to Burning Questions. Thank you for having me. Yeah, of course. Anytime. <laughs>